Hey everyone, this is Mason with Herb Rally. Uh, we're back here in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, I absolutely love it here. I'm so glad to be back. If you didn't know, Amanda and I went on a long road trip from Wisconsin back to my hometown of Eugene, Oregon. Uh, and we stayed there for four months in, our, in an RV. Uh, but uh, being in such a tiny confined space like that, even this small home of ours makes it feel so luxurious. And uh, yeah, it just feels so lovely, lovely to be back. Uh, absolutely love the Midwest. My dad's family is from you know Iowa, so I feel like I got Midwest in me. And I know Amanda certainly feels at home here in the Midwest, uh, uh, Wisconsin specifically. But uh, we wanted to record uh, an updates video for you today. But uh, first things first, I really want to uh, just emphasize this interview that I'll be hosting next Tuesday. That's May 30th, uh, 2023. Uh, Zilla's being really cute right now on the on the rug. I'm going to be interviewing uh, Erica Gallantin and Jim McDonald, both friends of Herb Rally, um, and it's going to be kind of like this uh, just random show, if you will. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking audience questions. Uh, so and to incentivize the process, if you want to ask a question, uh, we're going to select one of the questions, um, one of the one of the people that ask a question. Um, and we're going to give, give away a hoodie. We've done this in the past, but if you're new, uh, basically all that entails is if you could ask an herbalist any question, uh, it could be fun, it could be serious. Um, if you can ask Erica Gallantin or Jim McDonald any sort of question, uh, what would that be? So it's easy as that. Um, again, the, the interview is next Tuesday, May 30th. So let's just say... We'll select a winner on June 1st. Uh, one of the questions is asked below. And uh, so good luck. Uh, really looking forward to it. Um, so this is going to be an interview for our new interview series called The Herbalist Hour. The Herb Relay podcast has been around for six years or so. And I just started interviewing people. I, I can't even believe it. I can't believe I went six years with a podcast with hundreds of episodes and never having interviewed anybody. Uh, but yeah, we just started that uh, on the Herb Rally podcast feed, say an Apple podcast, Spotify, uh, Podcast Addict, all the above. You could, you could subscribe to the Herb Rally podcast and in that feed is the new interview series where I'm interviewing all sorts of herbalists from all over the community. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to release anywhere from one to two interviews per week. Um, and one thing that I wanted to mention is uh, when the interviews are done via Zoom, uh, we're allowing our Herb Rally Schoolhouse members to participate. So that's kind of a fun little perk. Uh, last week, I interviewed Susan Leopold, Executive Director of the United Plant Savers, and we had five schoolhouse members attending, uh, which was super fun, uh, and they were able to interact in the way of, say, just saying hi, as well as asking questions of Susan, and then a couple of those questions were answered uh, at the end of the episode. So that was super fun. So I want to say... If you're an Herb Rally Schoolhouse member and you want to join in on the Erica and Jim McDonald interview, uh, you could do so by becoming an Herb Rally Schoolhouse member. Uh, and if you're not a member, you could you could do so by um, going to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. And you could even get your first 30 days for free with coupon code YouTube30. And this coming week, starting tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, uh, May 23rd, I'll be interviewing uh, Camille Freeman on Tuesday. I'll be interviewing the Seed Sisters on Wednesday. I'll be interviewing uh, Leon Bruno uh, with Puff Herbals on Thursday. And I'll be interviewing Amanda Crook uh, with Locust Light Farm on Friday. Oh, I did have this book. This is a book by the Seed Sisters. Uh, they live in the UK. Uh, the Sensory Herbal Handbook. So. So I just wanted to tell you that if you want to see the, the schedule, you can check out our social media. Uh, and again, Herb Rally Schoolhouse members can join us live, uh, ask questions of the various guests, but um, and also with the uh, Erica and Jim interview. And basically, as far as I can tell, every uh, Zoom interview moving forward, it won't be uh, very doable for the uh, in-person interviews, uh, but, but that's okay. We do a lot of Zoom interviews, so hope to see you there. So speaking of the schoolhouse, I wanted to mention we just came out with a new module. Uh, this one is with Gene Madrone and Sean Croak, 
And basically, uh, from our travels from Oregon to Wisconsin, we stopped in Olympia, Washington, and we hung out with these two herbalists, Gene Madrone and Sean Croak. Uh, and I knew them way back in the day from the Dandelion Seed Conference that happened in Olympia every year. I don't think they host that event anymore, but... Uh, but yeah, it was fun to stop in the uh, Olympic National Forest, uh, and basically the, this new module in the Herb Rally Schoolhouse is this uh, is them taking us on a, a plant walk. Uh, so I want to say we visited with seven different plants, and they talk about these plants anywhere from I want to say like ten to thirty minutes each. Uh, and we just released the uh, the first video in that series, and it's uh, all about Nufar, aka Yellow Pond Lily. Uh, so they go in depth on, say, the medicinal uses, harvesting, and all that. But yeah, so each week for the next few weeks, we're going to be releasing the the different plant, uh, different plants that they go over. So, and again, this is one of the best ways you could help support our work here at Herb Rally. Uh, you could kind of think of it as like a Patreon. Uh, essentially, it's a membership showing your support of of what we're doing here at Herb Rally. It's only ten dollars a month, um, and yeah, it helps us uh, help support what we're doing here at Herb Rally. So a huge thank you to all of our Herb Rally Schoolhouse members. Your support means the world to uh, me and Amanda and Amelia. So next I want to circle back to the Herbalist Hour and uh, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to uh, uh, Northwest Washington based uh, rapper slash MC uh, Torin Frost. Uh, Torin, I approached him because I know his partner, uh, Rishi Strauss, uh, she's an herbalist, uh, also in the Northwest, and uh, I found out that her partner, uh, Torin, is a rapper, and I was like, oh, I want to uh, uh, incorporate a new, some new theme music to the Herbalist Hour, uh, and if, you, if you've ever heard the Herb Rally podcast, you know the, the original song is done by MC Calico, um, a California-based rapper, but yeah, we wanted to get a new song for the Herbalist Hour, so we reached out to Torin Frost. Uh, and he just created this amazing song for us. It's, it literally hit exactly what we were hoping for. Uh, he, he incorporates plants, people, you know, the herbal community, and it's all done in this 15 second song that he created. Not, not only did he write the raps, but he performed the raps, and then he also made the beat. Uh, so he's making the beat, and then he's doing the behind the scenes like um, engineering of the beat. So. The complete song was made from scratch and it incorporates like nature sounds and everything. It, it's literally exactly what me and Amanda were hoping for in a song and it's just so smooth. Oh, it's just so smooth. I listen to it all the time. Like I just, I love this song so much. Uh, so I think Amanda's gonna play it like, like right about now. <laughs> Welcome to the herbalist hour. This is where community gather, merging the power of people and the flowers, the sweet and the bitter to the salty, the sour. Remind me, it's time for the herbalist hour. Wow, see, just music to my ears. Uh, if you want to give Torin Frost a follow, uh, go hit him up on Instagram. He's at Torin Frost. Um, yeah, so Torin, if you're watching this, man. I can't wait to interview you for the Herbalist Hour, get a little behind the scenes of your creative process and everything. So uh, shout out Torn Frost, thank you so much. And uh, uh, yeah, moving on to the next thing. Um, I wanted to tell you about the new module in our uh, sliding scale, ever expanding course called The Art of Frugal Nutrition. Uh, if you haven't heard of this before, basically this is our uh, course, uh, which basically teaches you how to eat nutritious foods on a budget. Um, I'm like com essentially combining two of my favorite topics, which is saving money and nutrition. So yeah, basically when we say ever expanding, that means we're constantly growing what's inside of the course. Uh, we're releasing, we said new modules every few months and yeah, that's, I guess that's essentially what we've done. I want to say every three or four months we come out with a new module. Um, and then we say sliding scale because it literally slides all the way down to free. You can register for this course for free. Um, and then the other paid options are, I want to say $25, $50, and $100 if, if you have the means uh, to do it. But I'm really excited for the new module. This is with Bridget Doherty, uh, who also has a podcast called the Healthy Herb Podcast. Uh, but the new module is over three hours. I want to say it's three and a half hours all on uh, nourishing herbal infusions. And if you know me, you know I love me a nourishing herbal infusion, specifically the oat straw variety, the Avena sativa. I didn't even know you could talk about infusions 
uh, for three hours, but Bridget does it. She goes in all the ins and outs of the whole thing, including, I want to say, uh, maybe 10 different plants. Uh, she goes over the frugality of it, and she, it's just it's just an amazing module. So if you want to register for the Art of Frugal Nutrition, you go to, you can go to herbrally.com slash frugal nutrition. You'll be able to get the uh, Nourishing Herbal Infusion module, along with fermentation, dumpster diving, bone broth, the Spice Apothecary, and Eat Your Weeds. Uh, so yeah, check all that out. Uh, you could register for free or or pay what you can at herbrally.com slash frugal nutrition. Uh, and big thanks to Bridget Doherty for doing that module for us. Uh, and next week, no, in two weeks, I'll be on her podcast. Uh, she'll be interviewing me about uh, the inspiration behind Herb Rally along with uh, the Art of Frugal Nutrition. So uh, yeah, check that out for sure. So this is an updates video. I did kind of want to give you a brief <laughs> update on uh, Amanda and I's travels back from Oregon to Wisconsin. What happened was we were going to be visiting many different herbalists. And in the end, I think we've, yeah, we only ended up visiting three, which was still fine. Uh, we've, as I mentioned earlier, we visited uh, Jean Madrone and Sean Croak in Olympia. And then we had a super fun visit with uh, Rosalie De La Forêt. And I can't forget... I'm, I don't want to exclude Xavier. Uh, Rosalie and Xavier were great hosts over in Twisp, Washington. Uh, and I only said three herbalists because I don't know if Xavier necessarily identifies as an herbalist. But uh, yeah, they hosted us. And uh, we've got a great interview on the Herbalist Hour coming out with Rosalie de la Forêt. And then as I talked about earlier, the plant walk with uh, Sean and Jean. So, um, but then what happened was after we left uh, Rosalie and Xavier's house... Uh, we were driving, uh, <laughs> we were driving from Twisp, uh, and then we made it through a town called Wilbur, Washington. And then our truck, uh, the, um, shit, what is it called? <laughs> the yeah, thank you. Uh, the alternator went out and basically what happened was, uh, I got a warning on the dash. Um, basically it was like a, it showed a wrench and a battery and I, we were both like, shit, that does not look good. Um, and then essentially what happened next was the car shut down. And so if you're like kind of a, you know, uh, an automotive mechanic type, you probably already know what happened, but basically our alternator went out. Um, and so we had to pull over, like I had to yank the steering wheel super far to the right. Uh, and we were able to just able to pull off the road with a 30 foot RV. We had three cats in the back and, uh, it was probably around, I think want to say noon, um, and so I just, long story short, this really generous tow truck driver, uh, got us back to Wilbur to a, uh, automotive shop, um, where they were then able to replace our alternator the next day. Um, everyone was super nice. They got us back on the road. Um, after that whole experience, uh, Amanda and I decided to just expedite the whole trip and then skip uh, some of the destinations that we had in mind. And we just, <laughs> instead of spending, I wanna say an extra nine days on the road, we just decided to get there in three days. And then we just booked it home. So a lot of driving, the cats were troopers. Um, and uh, yeah, we're all so thankful to be back in our new hometown of Appleton, Wisconsin, which I could go on and on and on and on and on about. And I, in fact, I do to Amanda. I constantly say how much I love this city. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's been absolutely, absolutely wonderful for us. So, uh, and one of the first things Amanda did, well, A, she took a bath. Uh, and then after that, she, uh, um, she tore up our entire front lawn, which is kind of, uh, ironic, I guess, because it's actually no mow Monday. We still have an unmown, uh, yard in the backyard, but, uh, uh, but she tore up the entire lawn, which is super cool and, uh, planted a bunch of, uh, she planted, I want to say borage, chamomile, sunflowers, and, a bunch of other really fun herbs and plants. So we're gonna have this wild herb garden, which I'm ex uh, we're super excited to share with you as progress is made on that. Um, so as she was as she tore up the lawn, I tore my meniscus, uh, which means I can no longer play basketball. Which is, if you know me, uh, basketball is a huge part of my life. So I'm gonna have to just figure out other ways to to keep it moving. But um, um, the cats are still being cute right now. Uh, they're very distracting.
But that's basically all I wanted to say today. Again, like if you take any anything away from this video, I'd love it if you could leave a comment below uh, with your question for Jim McDonald and Erica Gallantin. Again, I'm interviewing them uh, next Tuesday, May 30th, 2023, uh, for our new series called The Herbalist Hour. And uh, the whole interview is basically just gonna be asking them your questions. So if you have any sort of questions for an herbalist, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. And in exchange, what we'll do is we'll pick one winner just to in incentivize you to, to do this. Uh, we'll, we'll choose one winner uh, to one, win one of our uh, Herb Rally hoodies, be that the Eat Your Weeds hoodie or the Dandelion hoodie. Uh, well, I'll leave a link to those in the show notes so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of our community. Uh, and until uh, next time, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, how could I forget this update? We got this wonderful cat named Corvus, and Corvus is the genus for crow, and we are absolutely smitten with him. He's like the glue for the other two cats. He's a playmate, he's a cuddler, and he's brought out so many amazing qualities in the other two cats, so uh, thanks Corvus. He was a rescue, he was, he's such a buddy. We love him, he's a snuggler. Look at those beautiful eyes. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks again. Talk soon. Bye.